the perfect storyteller. I want to share with you why Nikon ZF with the 40 meta F2 is the perfect storyteller. And I will show you my best picture from a series of pictures and I will tell you why I choose it. So very important composition tips. So let's talk about this now. Hi there, Todor Matescu here. In this video, I want to share with you my experience on the field with the Nikon ZF. So I went out to use my Nikon ZF to do some portraiture shots of my wife to see what this lens can do. And uh, I've already published that video. You can check it at the end of this video. But in the meantime, a scene developed in front of me. And it was the perfect time to see if Nikon ZF will deliver. And my thoughts is that Nikon ZF delivered. You will be able to see the pictures, the series of the pictures and why I've chosen just one picture that I feel it is the best from that series. So overall, after looking at the pictures and telling you why I've chosen just one picture from the series, I will share with you my experience regarding this package and why I love it so much. So now we are in Lightroom and we will look at the series of the pictures, just JPEGs, and I will address also the editing factor. So let's take a look. So I've switched to black and white with Nikon ZF because yes, I have the switch and I wanted to do a little documentary photography from there to there. And the scene developed in my head and in my mind. So I was seeing these uh, pigeons that were flying and I've got some good pictures in this scene with a Leica camera that I really love because people are um, feeding the pigeons. So I've took my Nikon ZF and put it at my eye. I am at F8 to have all in focus. And I don't know, but I felt very comfortable with the Nikon ZF in taking pictures. And you are able to see that this old lady is smiling and everything it's okay. I really like this picture also because we have these pigeons here on the right corner and here, but this is an okay picture, not bad, but let's move on. The scene was developing and I was here. Now, this isn't a good scene. This isn't a good spot. And I said to myself where I should be. Very important. This is one of the best composition tips. The station point. Where should you be to take the best shot? It's not just about the camera. It's also about where you position yourself. So I've decided to go in the lake, almost in the lake, because the lake was here in the right, but I wanted to get the picture. So I was almost in water, but looked what happened. Now this man came and the pigeons were flying. Already I felt that, wow, I have a good picture. A man in a wheelchair, pigeon flying. But anyway, you are able to see, even if it's a good picture. Mm. And now look here, I have the frame closed here on the right and also the frame closed here on the left, but the lady is with the back at me. So it's not very okay. And for my luck, a bicycle came. I wasn't able to frame very well this picture, but it's working, let's move on. So while doing the pictures, I decided to be very attentive at the borders and boom, now I have this picture. First, I thought this is the best one. But after some time looking again more attentive at this series, I've discovered a better one and I will tell you immediately why the last picture is the best one. So now two bikers are coming into the frame. Let's move on. And boom, this is the one. This is the one that I love more than the other. And it's a JPEG from ZF and it's a very good JPEG. It's a hard scene to edit to see clear what is happening in the scene and why this is the best one. Before telling you why this is the best one, let me show you an edit that I've made. Now looking at the Nikon ZF JPEGs, I'm liking more the Nikon ZF black and white JPEGs. It's more clear what is happening in the picture. So I've tried to make this picture work and it's working, but I do like more the Nikon ZF JPEGs because they are more clear. The low contrast is helping you visualize the entire frame and why I feel that this is the best picture from the series. So let's analyze a little this picture and why I do feel that this picture is the best from the series. It may not be an iconic picture, but it's a good picture. So first of all, all it's straight. So I was able to keep the horizontal line straight. This is important. You will not lose in crop when you'll want to do this. Second, we have 
five elements. One, two, three, four, five. So an odd number. This is helping a picture a lot compared to an even number, especially when we are talking about a composition like this, so not a symmetrical composition. Next, we have our borders very well closed, like Bresson. And more important, the people that are closing our borders are looking into the frame. This is huge. They are helping the viewer to look into the frame. Also, we have the frame closed up here and down here. And also all the pigeon and ducks are cut. So perfect composition regarding the borders. More than that, we have a gesture and gestures are important. And now what it's the most important part, I feel that we have many contrasty things here. So we have the pigeons, we have the ducks, but more important, we have the man in the wheelchair and we have these two bikers also that are rocking wheels and pigeons flying. So the story, it is very well said. We have this old man that it's in the wheelchair. He can't fly, he can't run using a bike. But these youngsters are riding their bikes and also we have repeating elements here, the wheels. So all it's working very fine. It's a bucket shot. It's a good street photography scene, even if it's a little too busy because it's a scene from the park. This is why in general, I avoid shooting in parks because the backgrounds are pretty busy. But in this case, it's working very well. But more than that, you can post process the image better to make the subjects differentiate from the background. And more than that, I would say that Nikon ZF being a full frame and because I have all this clarity, all this structure, the JPEG, it's already good. It's already good. Everything, it is pretty well made in this picture. Of course, a good black and white edit, it will make from this picture a better picture. So the purpose of an edit is to make this picture more easy to be read, especially nowadays on the mobile phone. But if I will print this picture, it will look very, very good. So the black and white from Nikon ZF, it's a very good black and white straight from the JPEG. Okay, I've decided to print it. And I'm telling you, it is crazy good. I will look now. I decided not to look before making this recording because I want to give you my first impressions. So I'll put a B-roll. But uh, let me look at the picture. I am amazed. I am amazed with the quality straight from the JPEG imprinting. Crazy good, crazy beautiful, amazing details, amazing contrast, amazing structure. Everything is clear and fine looking. <laughs> amazing picture. I'm really glad that I was able to take this picture and I'm really glad that I've got the right equipment. So I'm really loving the picture straight from the camera, black and white JPEG, a hard scene. Again, a hard scene to edit, a hard scene to have distinctive subjects and objects. But uh, yes, it's very clear what is happening in the picture and very important, it's not flat. So at F8, the picture isn't flat. It's very clear what is happening here. It's very easy to read this picture. And yes, a nice picture. So this is very important. I've tried to edit the first picture that I thought it was the good one from the series. And when I looked at the Nikon ZF JPEG file, the black and white files, I was, wow, it's looking good. You can read the picture. You can enter into the picture. You can taste the picture and take a moment and look at it and uh, you will be able to see without problems and to scan the picture and to enjoy it and to understand it. So very good black and white JPEGs for storytelling. Very good. I'm loving a lot of black and white JPEGs and also this is helping because it's a full frame. So my experience with Nikon ZF, I feel it is at the level of using a Leica MP240. I have that experience. I do not feel any stress when taking the camera at the eye. These retro looking cameras are really helping the subjects to relax. This is very important. Also the camera, it's compact. A compact lens like this is really helping the subject to relax. So this is very important because you are relaxed, your subjects are relaxed, and because of the great EVF, you are able to make very well the composition. And why the EVF is so important in composition? The EVF is crucial in composition. Why? 
because when you'll take the camera, you will close the other eye and you'll immerse into your frame. You'll immerse into your universe. You'll not be distracted by the peripheral view because you've closed your peripheral view. And even if I'm not seeing outside of the frame, and this is where a rangefinder is helping a lot because this EVF, it is so bright, so huge, so easy visible. At a great eye point, you are able to compose using the EVF very, very simple. And more than that, being a full frame camera with great AF, having the trust that I'll have a picture that it will look good is something that is motivating me. So all it's coming into place into this camera. Good AF, good structure, full frame sensor, great EVF, reliable AF. And at F8, I know that a full frame will look good. At f5.6, again, the scene will shine. I will get so many details and that full frame structure, that full frame structure. And more than that, where Nikon ZF helped me a lot is that it helped me have great JPEGs straight from the camera, black and white and also colored JPEGs. So a total joy to use. I'm really feeling this camera like a Leica MP240 camera, like a Fujifilm X Pro 3 camera. So a camera that it's delivering and it's delivering and it's helping me get close to the subjects. It's helping me relax. It's giving me the trust that I will get what I want and this trust that I have, this relaxation, this peace of mind that Nikon ZF is giving me is helping me take better pictures in the end because the image quality is great because we are talking about the full frame sensor and why this is important. Well, I'm telling you why it's important. Look at Vivian Meyer pictures. The Vivian Meyer pictures have that impact of a medium format camera. It's not just about the great composition of the Vivian Meyer. It's also about the medium format. I do not need a medium format. I do not need a Rolex Flex, but I do need to get that look at least a full frame camera. I've tried to use APS-C cameras. I've tried to use Micro Four Thirds cameras. You do not get that look. You do not get that compression and that clarity and that structure. Very important. It's also about structure and compression. When you are looking at Vivian Meyer photography, you'll be able to observe that medium format compression. On APS-C and on Micro Four Thirds cameras, you are losing that compression. This is why I do enjoy a lot to shoot Leica MP240 with Voigtlander lenses at f8 f11. The images are better in the end than an APS-C camera or a Micro Four Thirds camera. But don't get me wrong, I'm just nitpicking here. Of course, any camera, it's a good camera. Any camera will deliver. Even a phone will deliver. What matters is how the camera is making you feel. This is very important for me. Maybe for you it's not important, but I'm ticking with this Nikon ZF a lot and with Leica MP a lot. So cameras that I do enjoy, and yes, I feel that Nikon ZF is ticking all the boxes that I could wish from a camera like this. This is why I've made a video where I've said that Nikon ZF, it is the best 40 millimeter camera out there. So if you want to check that video and if you want to see now what you can do from street scenes to portraits with just one camera and one lens, please be sure to check now my next video. Also subscribe to my channel, give it a like, subscribe to my newsletter for more photography tips and tricks. And also use my affiliate links if you want to buy something from Amazon to support my channel. Thank you. And I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.